That soft landing economists have been hoping for may come down to what happens in the next couple of months. A scenario in which the U.S. economy makes it through this years-long period of high inflation without tipping into a recession is still likely, most economists believe. But new jobs data has some revising their outlook. As that hiring rate comes down, it's telling us that firms are becoming less and less excited about growing their labor force. And the next move that you typically see in a cycle is that move towards layoffs. Cities chief U.S. economist Andrew Hollenhorst, who's known to have relatively pessimistic views of the economy, says he's certain the U.S. is headed toward at least a substantial slowdown. Other top economists at leading firms see the slowdown in hiring as part of an inevitable softening of what was a red hot jobs market. Goldman Sachs still believes there's just a 20% chance of a recession in the next 12 months. And at Morgan Stanley. We're pretty confident. We feel good. We think the economy is fine. We don't think we're headed for a hard landing. Federal Reserve officials pouring over every piece of incoming data ahead of their vote next week expected to result in the first interest rate cut since March of 2020. The size of the cut will send a message about how the central bank sees the strength of the U.S. economy. That is a top concern for voters. But Fed Chair Jerome Powell insists the upcoming election won't impact their decision. Do you believe it's possible to really remain apolitical with a September rate cut? I absolutely do. Anything that we do before, during, or after the election will, will be based on the data, the outlook, and the balance of risks, and not on anything else. Investors and economists are debating whether we'll see a quarter point interest rate cut or a half point rate cut next week. And two major reports out this week could help tip the scale. Consumer inflation out Wednesday and producer or wholesale inflation out Thursday. In Washington, I'm Atrel Nashar.